Oh, oh, oh. Another common warthog? Thing happening over here? They're going to fight again. Oh, I guess we have two males as an adult again. Holy heck. You know maybe I'll make the uh, male get rid of the older male this time. And uh, the, the younger male is going to go into the alpha status. So, this one's 6.1 years old. I might release it to a while. Conservation status, not the best, I guess, huh? Yeah, so let's go. Let's, let's grab him again. 6.1 years old. Send the trade center. There you go. Send her to the trade center. And uh, let's find out where the new male is. The new alpha male, that is. And, uh, look at the money. We're at $73,000. That's good. We're doing well on money. So let's uh, select this guy. Let's figure out who are his siblings. That way, uh, yeah, parents and siblings. Make sure there's no possibility of uh, inbreeding going on right here. So I guess we'll, we'll basically just have to get rid of all the females. And, uh, just adopt new females, I guess, you know, huh? So that might be what we'll have to do here, yeah. And of course, one of the females is pregnant, so I can't really do anything about that, unfortunately, but just to make sure there's no inbreeding at all, I guess we'll get rid of all the females. There you go. And, uh, there is one baby female right there, so, of course, once that becomes an adult, uh, same thing with the other baby males, once those become adults, I'll have to, uh, let's see, I guess I'll just send all these to Trade Center. There you go. But yeah, once all those become adults, then uh, I have to trade them out as well. But let's actually go to the zoo or trades animal trading. Let's go to animal storage, select all, and uh, quick trade for a little bit of money. So there you go. And uh, let's actually go to the animal market now. And let's try and find <gasps> camels. Okay, yeah, those are definitely desert. Holy heck. Yeah, remember, we need at least one more desert creature. So yeah, it, uh, camels. That seems really cool, you guys, especially here in the desert. So. Let's definitely get a camel here if we can. Bengal tiger, whoa. Before we lose these camels on the market, let's figure out which one's really good. Let's see, they're not really the best. The immunity, the size are both pretty low for both of these, but I guess this one would probably be better. Or maybe I could just wait and get a better one a little bit later. I think I'll probably get a better one a little bit. You know what, let me check the Zoopedia. Does it require a female right off the bat? Up to 110. Oh, yeah, we, we need a group size of two. So, yeah, maybe I'll wait until a male and a female are both on the market at the same time and they're good. That way, uh, we can get them at the same time without... Oh, man, even Western Lowland Gorillas are here. Holy heck, what's that freaking lion right there as well? But, uh, let's see. What was it again? Oh, yeah, the Wardog. Let's see if we can find that. What was it just C for common? Yeah, common Wardog. But I guess we'll get both, v both of these females right here. They're not the best immunity. It's terrible on that one. Holy heck. Yeah, they're not good at all. But I guess I'll get them anyways. <laughs> oh my God. There's no real reason for me to get these right here, but fertility immunity, I guess this one has pretty decent immunity. But the size and longevity is just not that good, you know? So I guess I'll, I'll adopt that one. I'll adopt that one right there. And they're in the trade center. So let's, of course, send them over to quarantine before we actually... Uh, and quarantine is like right next to Earth area right there. So that's good. Let's uh, make sure that they are nice and clean and don't bring any diseases into the park. So that's going to be great. And then, of course, uh, once we place them inside here, we're going to have, like, what? Just three females? And then, of course, it's going to go down to two females, because we're going to get... Oh, look at the baby warthog right there. Holy... Oh, my gosh! Even though it is, like, a, an ugly pig, that thing is super-duper cute, and I can barely see it. Though. Hold on. Well, turning on the camera light doesn't really help out too much. I guess he's just really, really dark. And, well, he is in the shade, too, so that doesn't really help out. <laughs> but, yeah, he's just swimming around right there. He's having fun. That's all he's doing. But yeah, I guess, uh, let's see. What is that pregnant one as? Is it still pregnant or what? Is this it or? That's a male. That's the male. Here's a female. Your offspring due on, uh, April, a April of year. Oh, yeah, it should give birth here soon because it says April year five and it's April right now of year five. So I guess it's only a matter of time before that one gives birth. And of course, we can trade it out. And uh, let's check out. Oh, water treatment failed. Oh, man, call mechanic over here. Yeah, let's definitely take care of that, you guys. Two years since the last visit. What? I said that to every six months. Holy heck. Vet research. Arctic wolf and Lehman's poison frog. And mechanic research. We have barriers and Arctic theme. Nice. So I was suspecting, I don't know if I said it earlier, but I was suspecting that the Arctic border was locked behind the Arctic theme right there. So perhaps if we continue researching the Arctic theme, we'll get the Arctic border that we had in the other Arctic packs. So where was that? At? Uh, let me go to Arctic. Oh man, there's Arctic animal signs, doll sheep, Arctic wolf, ooh, Arctic wolf. I could have a cool custom flag for them. Maybe I'll put that, uh, I guess, over here randomly. Let's see, what does that even look like? I guess this. I guess you could put that on like a light pole or something like that. I'll 
Maybe I'll put it like right here or something. Kind of weird. Uh, so maybe I'll put it like right here. Yeah, sure. Yeah, there you go. So, uh, yeah, get rid of that. Uh, I guess I'll just move it like right here. And, uh, ba boom. Alright, maybe I'll move it up a little bit more too. But yeah, there's Arctic Wolves over here. Nice. <laughs> but, uh, mechanic research again. What is this one? It is the Arctic theme too. So I guess that went on for a little while until <laughs> we got both of those. But, uh, blueprints level one. Oh, Arctic themed scenery. Yeah, we probably do because it got 200. You just saw right there. 224 items, 13 items, 6 items. So 224 items right there. I'm sure we got. Uh, the Arctic, like, the, the, the border, so I could probably change the border around here. What are we doing? Oh, we're working on one-way glass right now, so that's going to be good. We should be able to get that good for the, what was it, the Wardog or, so, or the Aardvark? Yeah, for the Aardvarks here in the future, but we should have the, let's see, uh, border or uh, education. Yes, we do. Arctic education board right here, you guys. Nice. So now I guess I have to get rid of this and place this down in its path, or in its place, so... There we go. I might have to move it ever so slightly. And there we go. All right, nice. Look at that. See, that, that, that fits in a lot better than the uh, the weird, like, wood over here. Fits in a lot better with the Arctic theme over here with the Arctic walls, you guys. Nice. Definitely like that a lot better. You know what? I'm going to do another save. Oh, another mechanic research done. Golly. And looks like we have the one-way glass. Nice. And they're done with that one. So I guess, uh... I guess someone can start researching something else, so... Uh, power? Yeah, definitely want to do the- yeah! Definitely want to do power, because we need that for the wind turbine and the solar panel, which I still haven't done yet, which makes sense, because we don't even have them yet. <laughs> so yeah, let me get rid of this, and uh, I guess we'll just place down the arctic bear- oh, hold on. Ooh, look at that one. Do I want that one? It looks weird, it doesn't really fit in too well, but uh... There we go, so there's the arctic wolf one. Doesn't fit the- you know, perfectly, but... I don't think it really matters too much. So, you know what? Let me, let me spend a little bit of time right here replacing all these borders with the Arctic border. Just to... I mean, like it, doesn't, it doesn't change anything in-game, but at least it changes how it looks and fits the aesthetic a little bit better, but... It doesn't change, like, the education rating or anything like that if we have, like, a matching border. I'm sure I'm pretty sure it doesn't change anything like that, right? So, let me just uh, change these borders real quick, and I'll see you guys here in just a bit. All right, guys, I'm back, and the reporter has arrived in the zoo. You know what? I just thought of it. But I guess the reporter can be, like, a news reporter for, like, a newspaper or, like, a TV station or something like that. So I guess that makes sense. Uh, rather than having an inspector randomly. Although, it would also make sense to have an inspector, but I guess it doesn't really matter too much. So, yeah, if we do get, like, a news reporter or whatever coming over here and saying, Oh, man, the, the Arctic wolves are miserable. Then I guess, yeah, that'd hurt the park and it'd make more sense than, like, an inspector. You know, I'm like, they give us a fine. I, I think the reporter also gives us a fine, too, but... I don't know, I don't really know why they changed the name of that, but it's, I guess I understand the name behind it, but... Either way, quarantine pass for both these warthogs over here, so now we can move them over to the warthog area. Is this it? Oh, yep, common warthog, I like how it kind of hovers right there. And by now, yeah, the female that was pregnant, wherever she is, she should be not pregnant anymore. Yep, there she is right there, so yeah, let's move her to animal trading. So, uh, yep, there it is right there, trade center. And uh, vet research complete. And Lehman Poison Frog is now complete, too, so that's great. As well as everything else, so yeah. I guess, well, yeah, we finished the Arctic Wolf right there, nice. I guess we can start researching, uh, what do I want to research next? Maybe Flamingo? Maybe I'll do African Elephant? Let's do an Exhibit Animal, so uh, let's do the, no, we just did a frog, so. Let's do the Green Iguana, or no, let's do the Snail. Yeah, the Giant Tiger Land Snail, yeah. So I guess we'll have three, uh, vets researching those at the same time, and then, of course, We'll still have three vets free to do, uh, you know, vet stuff. You know, checking on animals. Or almost said repair, but I guess that makes sense. <laughs> but, you know, helping them out if they're, like, injured or whatever. Healing them, all that kind of stuff. But how's this, guys? Ideal temperature range. Yeah, I guess it's hot over there. So, yeah, you just, I, guess I, I guess I could make this whole area cool, technically. And then, of course, over here, it'd just, it'd just be a cool, deserty area. So, let me check. Heat map. Does this actually show the... Yeah, here's the temperature right here. The water right there is hot. I wonder if I could do anything about that. But yeah, I guess we could add another cooler right here and here. But of course, we can't really do that because we don't have any power yet. But uh, the mechanics are researching that. So we could actually put solar panels and uh, wind turbines and all that kind of stuff over here. And have it not really uh, having a negative effect on our guests. So uh, I kind of want to... Just because I did overshoot this a little bit right here. I kind of want to fix this just because I... Kind of messed it up a little bit. Because... <laughs> uh. We did go over the border a little bit, so let's try and fix this. 
So there you go, it's coarse sand right there. Then of course we add a little bit of heavy sand. To kind of make it look like people have been walking in the past. So there you go, yeah. So there you go, it fits a little bit better right there, nice. And uh, the rest of it, they don't really overhang too much. A little bit right there, I don't really care about that too much. <laughs> but yeah, I really like this area right here, you guys. Not, not the prettiest, but a good start, especially for the environment we're in right now. You know, transitioning from a sand to a heckin' arctic area, you, you can't really make it look too pretty, but I, I tried my best. <laughs> if we were going from like a, like, I don't know, from, I don't, I don't know, like, just a regular, I guess a tropical area, it'd probably look a little bit better than this. Oh, look at them, they're, they're playing right here, as I'm zoomed in on the heckin' butt. <laughs> but yeah, they're playing around over here, but yeah, hopefully the, uh, the mechanics, oh, they finished over here? No, animal stress, oh yeah! Now we have the uh, two-way, or one-way glass. Now we can actually modify their edit barrier. Modify this to be two-way glass. So, or one-way, got one-way glass, yes. Wait, why is that one backwards right there? Hold on. Let me, uh, one way this way, yes. So you can see through this way, no problemo. But this way, it's dark, so you can't see that. So that should help out their stress levels, right? And is their stress going up? Uh, or down, or, you know, getting better. It is, so that's good. Look at that, the stress is getting better right there, so that's awesome. Animal's distressed and trying to hide. Well, he's pretty much hidden now, at least as far as he knows, so he's not going to be stressed anymore, so that's going to be great. Yeah, nice, I like that. Well, I guess we just have one aardvark here? Really? Just one? Oh, we have multiple. Let me check. Yeah, we just have one aardvark over here. Yeah, this guy's kind of lonely. I kind of want to get him a friend. Does he need a friend, though? Let me check. Social, yeah, he doesn't need one, but I guess we can get him one. Let's go to animal trading. Let's go see if we can. Oh, what is? It? Oh yeah, that's the one I was going to trade out. I was wondering, like, what one is this one? I was about to put that one back in my egg park. Jeez. <laughs> but yeah, let's check up on. Uh, let's see if we have any camels over here. Let's. Uh, what's that? Oh, there it is right there. So we have. Oh, look at that. Yeah, we have a silver star or a silver appeal and a, a bronze appeal. So yeah, these ones are a lot better than the ones we saw earlier. Not the best longevity, not the best fertility, but everything else for these, pretty decent. And, uh, we have enough conservation credits to get both of them. Oh, wait, hold on, that's a... Uh, the male, though. Not the best, but we can get two females, and they'll be fine, so... I think. Yeah, it said up to one, and then, like, up to whatever female. So I think we can get away with two females right now, so that's gonna be good. So yeah, let's get these right here, you guys, nice. And of course, these are gonna be great females for a, a future male that we're gonna get, you guys, so that's gonna be great. So, that's gonna count as our other desert critter, and I did say somewhere over here, right? Yes, this was it, yes. Is this the Africa work zone? Oh, oh, what is this? Oh, speaking of Africa, African elephant. Got another uh, research on them, but yeah, let's go to staff, work zones, Africa. Was this it? Yes, it was. Okay, so it fits in right here. Oh, is this an MD? What is this? Oh, yeah, this is the hyenas over here. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. But yeah, I guess right here we can put like camels. Do they require a big area? Animal trading. Uh, there's no quick thing right there, but back. Back, back tree and camel. Oh, it already pulled her up right there. Uh, yeah, up to 10 females, so yeah, we're fine there, but how much, uh... 650 square meters, so not the biggest area. Honestly, I might even... Oh, and this isn't even like an African-type critter. Does it say... Oh, it still says desert, though, so that's good. So it is a, still a desert critter. It just needs a grade 2 boundary. It doesn't require any specific height limit, so we could probably get away with using the null meme by putting, like, a river over here and, uh... Actually, yeah, we could put it, like, right here. But this area over here is way bigger than what a uh, camel would need, you know, so... If anything, maybe I'll put the camels, like, right here, or maybe I'll put them, like, right here. And, like, have a strip of it, like, right here. And then, like, maybe over here we could have another critter, so... Yeah, like, let's just grab the barriers here. And, uh, it's at grade 2 at least, so... Grade 4, what is grade 2? Is that glass? It is. Okay, so we can put glass right here. You replace these, I guess I could just select this, edit barrier. Edit that as glass, regular glass, make that glass, and make this glass, and make this glass, there, yeah. And then, from there, I guess, bushes start splitting off, I guess from this corner, I guess right here we can turn this back into brick, and then uh, I can add another, here we go, to kind of make it come out this way, so. What is brick? Brick, brick is grade five, do we want to use brick? They're using wood there. Maybe, yeah, let's use wood. Yeah, wood log is res resistance grade 3, and all we need is resistance grade 2, so... Yeah, let's use the wood. And maybe I'll change those bricks, maybe I'll change those bricks right there, that brick wall, I'll change those over to wood as well, but yeah. Let's, uh, kind of have a little strip over here. There we go. 
And that's that's pretty steep right there. We could probably put null right here. Probably put the, oh wait, how's this work? I've never used this before. Oh yep, here we go, here we go. And then uh, connect that up right there. There we go, nice. And uh, right here, yeah, let's turn this into glass. Uh, you know what? Yeah, right here, I'd maybe I'll put right here. I'll put another. I'll put this as wood, and I'll make this glass. I'll make this glass, and I'll make this wood. There we go. Yeah. Or maybe I'll even make that glass as well. Or maybe yeah. Uh, no, this is like a seating area, so I guess yeah, we we can keep that as wood. That's fine. And then I there's no or. Oh, it stuttered right there. I'm saving the game. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, I, I think I'm going to make that. Even though it is null right there, we could probably get away with it being null. I think I'm going to still put wood right there just to be safe. Just because I'm not, I'm not. It didn't say it needed a specific height, so I guess we're fine with these, uh, these giraffes or uh, camels. So I don't think we need to worry about that. But is this area big enough? Maybe. Now, where could we slip in a... We could probably, yeah, maybe like right here where this corner is, we could probably slip in a... Uh, Let's see, edit barrier, get rid of that, get rid of that one too, yeah. Then uh, right here we can actually slip in the habitat gate. There we go, nice. And, uh, connect it up, like right there, there we go. And of course turn that into wood, just to make it match everything else. So there we go, make that wood. And then connect this up over here with glass. So, glass. And right here this pole is going to be brick, so there we go. That way it kind of matches everything else, you know. Uh, maybe I'll put like brick on this corner right here just because that seems to be the theme they put bricks on like the corner things and maybe I'll put a brick over there too and then a brick right here and then a brick right here on this corner there you go just to follow along with the theme because you guys see right here where it transitions from the wood to glass and between each pane and it turns into like brick and all that kind of stuff I guess we'll kind of follow along with that but uh well they didn't do it right well I guess they did but I switched to wood so Let's do it right here, too. Brick. And... Brick right here, too. There we go. Nice. Alright. But uh, yeah, now we have the habitat gate right, right here, and we can turn this into, uh... I, I'll just call it camel, just because I don't, I don't know what that first word was. So, there you go. Camels. Wait, did I spell that right? That doesn't look right. Oh, did I send them to... Oh, I guess I didn't yet. Uh, send them to quarantine. I, I should have had them in quarantine that whole time, but I didn't. Man. Camel... Yeah, I spelled it right. I don't know why that feels like it looks wrong at the top right there. <laughs> I don't know why. But yeah, and now we have that set up over here. And I guess, uh, oh yeah, well, this one already has a gateway right here. So that's good. So we don't have to worry about that. I guess if anything, maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll finish this barrier over here. That way we uh, already have this, this done. And uh, I don't know what we put over here, but maybe, ah, you know what? This is a staff area. Over here. Yeah, this is a staff path. So you can't really see unless, except for like right here. Huh. Oh, maybe I'll figure it out later. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll make a, a branch of the path going down here and you can get a good view of the camels, too. Maybe I'll connect up over here or something like that. I guess, I don't know. I guess, just some ideas for the future, I guess, for right now. But, uh, was this one? Yeah, okay, that's still a separate barrier. And this is still Okay, that's good that they're still separate. That's great. Anyways, yeah, we're, we're going to have camels over here. I don't know what they want necessarily. I guess we'll find out here in the future. But, uh, this hopefully is going to be big enough for them. They need 600 square meters. This over here is about 1,800 ish so compared to the sizes yeah that's 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 probably well over a thousand square meters over there you guys i guess if we get a lot of camels we'll probably uh oh high amounts of litter where high amounts of litter i'm not seeing litter there that's the oh litter over here there's litter and nothing over there yeah and that's just one spot that's just one spot right there where i'm seeing litter so let's take care of that <laughs> let's get a uh oh yeah there is there's no trash, yeah, there's no trash cans, there's no one really assigned to this area over here, so. Yeah, if anything, maybe I'll put down some some benches over here for people to just kind of sit on and uh, facilities. Here we go, bins, benches, and blue bitty blob And, uh, I think it was this one, right? Is this what I'm using over here? Okay, yeah, it is. Okay, that's good. But yeah, let's place down some benches and, and trash cans and, and lights and all that kind of stuff. See that over here. Uh, try to place these somewhat equidistant on each side. And of course, between them, I'll place another bench. And of course, next to each bench, it's going to be a trash can. That way, people can have somewhere to throw their heck of trash, right? And uh, maybe I'll move, like, one caretaker guy to come over here and clean this giant... It's, it's all just kind of conglomerated in one heck of spot right there. So it's going to be easy for him to clean up, if anything, right? 
So let's, let's see, where is the zookeeper, uh, the caretaker for the Arctic Zone? Here he's right here. Rolf McGinnis. I don't know what he's doing. Move him over here, Hada. <laughs> just gonna pick you up and set you down right there. <laughs> yeah, just hanging around and now you clean up some litter, so that's good. Staff room is so far away, uh, I'll be worn out by the time I get in. What are you talking about? Oh, yeah, speaking of, uh, work zones and stuff, I do need to set. Oh, is this one full? This one might be full, that's probably why they're complaining. No, it's not. What? You should be able to use that because it's technically still a part of the uh, Arctic uh, Arctic Zone. Yeah, it's blue, so it's part of this work zone and another. So I don't know what he's doing in the other work zone, but yeah, speaking of work zones, let's go to Africa and let's set this camel works or, uh, area as a part of that area. So that's going to be good. Nice. Anyways, might want to hire another keeper here just to kind of take care of the uh, the camels. Maybe I'll do that from now on. And then, of course, every time we do that, every time, every time we add another critter, we need to add the raise the price of entry and maybe add a keeper. That could be something we could do. We're at like $70,000 earlier. We're at 90000 right now. So that's good. We're doing well on money. So let's add, speaking of such, let's add a keeper. Add you to Africa. Employment Africa. There you go. How are the... Are they done? Uh, they are. Quarantine passed. Great. That's great news. Let's actually check up on the animal market here in just a minute, you guys. See if we can find a good male camel to go along with these females. So there you go, going to move them over there, and then of course, once they're set down, we can actually, uh, we'll, we'll get that part of the bronze star, uh, right here, have at least two of habitat species from the desert biome, one of them is the elephant, African elephant, and the other one's going to be the camels over here. Of course, I put, I could have put them in the other enclosure, but I, I feel like the camels might need, like, different, I don't know if they get along with the, uh, the elephants, you know, so I feel like I'm going to put them in their own enclosure, and they'll probably be fine. We have a lot of room anyway, so it's not really that big a video, but mechanic research done. Arctic theme, another one done for right there, so that's great. And vet research. Whoa, three things got done right there. Giant tiger, land snail, African elephant, and greater flamingo. So that's great, nice. I want to check them on their enrichment. Just this, oh man, saltwater crocs aren't doing too well, you guys. What's going on over here with these guys? Aw, oh, lovely. Some new animals for the zoo. <laughs> you know, welcoming new animals into their habitats never gets old. It's always a big thrill for me. Well, except for when it comes to the giant cockroaches. <laughs> oh, I guess the space over here isn't that good. And there's too much plant coverage. Okay. Not enough water. Too much land. Yeah, so... That's, that's something we'll have to figure out here. I guess I'll have to expand this out a little bit more and then keep digging the water down over here. Maybe that's because of the, they have babies? I'm like, there's, I'm seeing right now on the screen... One, two, three, four babies right there, so... Although babies, they... I don't think they... They don't attribute to the changes. Only adults do, right? Oh, God, here's the camels right here running around. What do they think of the area? Oh, look at this guy. Look at those two humps on his back. Nice. Or her back, because these are both females, right? So anyways, yeah, let's check on their, uh... Yeah, too much soil, not enough rock. So I guess we'll, uh, just add more rock. We'll be fine, so... Add some, uh, let's add some smooth rock, yeah, let's add some smooth rock, a big size and, uh, small intensity there, so, uh, there you go, just kind of scatter it there in the middle, there you go, what do they think of that, they're fine with that, that's good, a thousand square meters over here, so, yeah, about what I said earlier, I said it was going to be about a thousand, and, uh, turns out it is, so that's good, but what else, uh, other than, uh, enrichment, of course, is we, I mean, like, we probably do have something for them, let's actually check, what are they called again, it starts up with the letter B, uh, where is that? Species, there it is right there. B, and then camel. Oh, there it is right there. Bactrian camel. Huh. Alright, and then, uh, yeah, I definitely want to get them food, so food trough large, let's definitely get that. Put it on this corner, because this is really, this is where a lot of people are going to be, like, golly. Water pipe, definitely want that. I don't know if, I guess we could put, like, a random, like, oasis over here or something crazy. Small barrel feeder, we'll put that down, like, uh, let's put it over here by that window, there you go. Water trough small, although you do need that, uh, to be filled up by the... Oh well, yeah, right here's a great spot to put, like, a shelter. A little bit big. This might be... Yeah, this is going to be fine if we have just two females, one male. It's going to be a perfect size right here, you guys. There we go. Put that right there, put a bunch of, uh... Extra large? Nah, large. Yeah, large is good for them, so that's good. Put that over here. There you go, get four of those bad boys. Five of those bad boys! And, uh, what are they thinking of the temperature, though? Where's the temperature on this one? I do not know. I know that I saw it a moment ago, er, earlier on, at least, for the wolves, the Arctic wolves. I don't know where it is on this, though. 
Nah, I don't think it's that big of a deal. I'm like, they're literally in the desert right now, so I'm sure they'll <laughs> they'll be fine. But yeah, enrichment. Let's continue adding some more enrichment. So we're at uh, 10 for small, or for food enrichment. Continue adding some uh, food enrichment. But we have a rubbing pillow right here. Let's definitely add that. Big old pile of poo right there already, golly. <laughs> That uh, herb set marker, I guess we'll place that down right there on the block of ice. They'll probably like that. Place that right there next to their, uh, whatever that is right there. But yeah, they need for some more food enrichment. We don't have any more food enrichment for them, unfortunately. Except for that one barrel feeder. But I guess we can place down a second one over here. Of course, it's not going to be as effective as the first one. Uh, actually, it is. It's the same effectiveness. Okay. I thought the second one we placed down for being repetitive would probably give us, like, maybe, I don't know, like, eight points instead of ten. But whatever, it still gave us ten right there, so that's good. Not complaining at all. Anyways, these guys are, uh, so, yeah, we have a keeper assigned, to basically, oh, uh, research? African elephant, nice. Oh, yeah, speaking of research, I guess someone can stop, yeah, stop researching the elephant. Uh, Renee, stop researching the elephant, there you go. Start researching the camel, just because the elephant's already highly researched. Don't really need to continue researching that. Definitely want to get some more camel stuff, so. Start researching the camel, and we'll be fine. Uh, but yeah, these guys are just kind of hanging out. Check out the animal trading, and, uh, the animal market, that is. Uh, see if we can find any new camels over here. Uh, none of them are on the market right now, actually. Arctic wolves, African elephants, Ar aardvark right there. I think we have a ma Oh god, they're making weird noises. <laughs> but I think we have a male, so I don't want to get another male because it might impede on the male we currently have. I do want to get a female, though, but... Uh, one singular flamingo on the entire market. Indian rhino. I don't think we have one of those. Yeah, we have hippos, but we don't have rhinos. Yeah, that'd be a good... And then, like, N Nyala? I think that was the other deserty type critter we could get. But, uh... Oh, yeah, the prong horns. Polar bears. Polar bear definitely want to get that one as our other arctic critter if we need that. But, uh... The only thing we need to get now is another tropical biome type creature, which... Oh, yeah, I did bring up the... I saw some monkeys here. I don't know if they're on the market right now. Oh, here's right here. Yeah, lemur. That's gotta be tropical. Let's go over to, uh... And boom, tropical, nice. And it's a pretty good variation of species. We don't have any monkey type creatures in the park right now, as far as I know, so. You know what, we can probably slip them in right here and we'll be fine. Like they don't need that big of an area, I think, just from previous maps that we've had lemurs on, like tutorial maps. And there's just a lemur and that's it. Ringtailed lemur, Stranglon Zoopedia. Yeah, 210 square meters, that's enough, that's tiny. That's what, a fifth the size of this camel area over here, so. Cut this into fifths, so boom, boom, boom. Uh, it's fourths. Well, this area is over here is a little bit bigger, so boom, 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 boom. <laughs> I guess, yeah, th 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 we, we could slip in the lemurs right here. And just, I guess, cut it off from, like, right here to here. And you still have good visibility of them, maybe? Huh. And then maybe get rid of the cacti right here, just so you can continue having good visibility. I don't know, maybe I'll keep those there. Hmm. I have to think about that, but... Yeah, we could definitely put them right there, you guys. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's add them. Let's, let's get that one ringtail lemur. Did I get it already, or... What? Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, so yeah. Since you want uh, conservation credits right there, so it is a male. Let me go to Zoopedia here in just a moment. Send the zoo, send them to quarantine, just to get that kind of out of the way real quick. So, there we go. And now what's going on over here? Oh, vet researches and stuff. Uh, animals not in its ideal temperature. Yeah, um... Are the mechanics, are they done researching the power sources? Arctic theme, surely they're done researching power sources, right? Oh, what, they're not even researching power, did I not? Yeah, the game didn't crash in this universe yet. <laughs> I thought I had someone researching power all this time, but I guess not, huh? Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> Anyways, let's get another save, just because it's almost, I've been recording for almost a whole hour and the game hasn't crashed yet. So I'm going to continue to save, just because, uh, why not, right? So there you go. Another bit research, though. And it's for the Greater Flamingo. Nice. Let's go check up on them. It's been a little while. The last time we checked out Bonham, one of them escaped. So where was it from here? Here are the Flamingo. Yeah. Let's check up on them. What are they thinking in the area? The, uh, oh, Barrier Stat. Let's call the, uh, Mechanic over here. Let me see, uh, Mechanic every six months. There we go. Every month. Vet, maybe every six months. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine, yeah. I don't know why they're routine visits, they just don't care about that at all. <laughs> Seemingly, at least. Uh, but for all these guys, their welfare seems alright. One of them's pregnant. Yeah, they, they seem fine. I just click on one right now. Yeah, the enrichment, food enrichment. They, they could use some food enrichment. They have none. Yeah, okay. We've been researching them. Let's get them something for their food enrichment, you guys. Just because uh, I definitely do want to check up on all these creatures. 
Make sure they're they're happy. Look at them. I might want to get a better, a bigger feeder because that feeder is basically full with all those flamingos right there, you guys. Holy heck! But yeah, uh, what's it called? Just flamingo, or is it like another? Let me see. Greater flamingo. Yeah. Let's go to greater flamingo. Do we have any food enrichment for them? We do a forging pool. Perfect. That's what we had in the uh, the panda park. This is a perfect spot for it too. Look at this. Boom. Yeah. Oh, that one randomly just. Oh. I don't know why that one got boxed up right there, but there you go. <laughs> there are plenty. Of, oh, 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 God. Was it just doing what I think it was doing right there? Golly, that's the, well, it is a bird, isn't it? Right? Golly, that is disgusting. Oh, it is. Oh, God. Very uh, non-solid, if you know what I'm. Oh, God. In the heckin. <laughs> What's this called again? Foraging pool? In the foraging pool? Golly, you guys are disgusting. You're gonna be forging around in that and you're pooping inside of it. I don't know, say we have another research. Vet research for habitats, so there you go. Get that research. God heckin' wait. <laughs> Things are disgusting. <laughs>